Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This is part 4 of my tilting recumbent trike project. This time I'm going to be working on the swing arm. This is the part in blue at the back here on the CAD drawing. There's going to be a suspension spring or some kind of rubber shock absorber fitted at this point. I just haven't modelled this in the CAD drawing. In the top view you can see the mounting bracket and the tabs are offset slightly to the left. This gives clearance for the chain. The swing arm is sized for a 20 inch wheel. It's the same wheel as I used on my Mark 1 trike. It has a Shimano Nexus 8 speed hub. The swing arm will probably have only about an inch or so of travel, just enough to absorb a bit of shock. This is the third angle projection drawing of the swing arm generated in the CAD program. The front view and the top view. I can now make a start by cutting out some of the tubular components, just marking the lengths out roughly for cutting. As usual, I'm using my bandsaw to cut off the parts. All three parts are cut off slightly over length, so I'm going to trim them to the precise length required using my lathe. Use a file to remove the burrs. Checking the length is exactly right using my vernier calipers. As in the previous video, I'm using a hole saw to notch the tubes. In this case, I'm using the milling machine and I'm holding tube in some V-blocks in the machine bus. Checking the fit, not too bad. Using my digital calipers to check the length. I'm now making the tabs that fit the swing arm to the frame. These are the laser cut parts that I showed you in the previous video. The hole is slightly undersized as I ordered larger tubing than originally planned. So I'm mounting the tabs to the faceplate in the lathe and I'm just going to bore them out to a close fit on the tube. I'm using the tailstock to align the part on the centre line of the lathe. And this is the boring process underway. Perfect fit. Checking the final fit on the tube. Seems alright. I'm making a wooden jig for the assembly of the swing arm components. and I've marked out the major points very carefully and drilled them through. I'm using 10mm studding to hold the bits together. deburring tool in use in one of the inside parts of the tubes. I can now start assembling the jig using the components already made. These tubes are held in place using plastic bushes that I turned up on the lathe.
At this point I realised that the dropouts that I'd originally designed and had laser cut were far too small, so I had to make some bigger ones that would actually fit properly. I used the 4mm steel plate that I'd originally bought for this purpose, but had decided not to use because of the laser cutting, so it's lucky I still had it in stock. The cutting off disc and the angle grinder comes in very handy for this sort of work. Here I'm finishing off the dropouts with a bit of filing. I milled out the slot for the wheel axle in the milling machine. I used a table stop to set the depth of the slot. These are the parts made so far, assembled in the jig. This bar indicated here is the precise distance for the spacing for the dropouts. The nuts at each end help to clamp the dropouts in the correct place. The position of all the parts is measured off one of the faces of the plywood, so everything's in the right place, and properly aligned. The next job is to make the seat stays and the chain stays, and I start off by cutting them roughly to length. These stays are actually slightly tapered, which makes bending them later a bit of a problem. This is my bending machine. I'm putting a slight bend into the outer end of the seat stays and the chain stays at this point. Just a slight kink is enough. I'm changing the die to a bigger size to bend the inner end of the stays. The inner end has a slightly more pronounced bend. That's the stays bent to the right angle. The final job is to cut and file them so they fit accurately at each end. As in the last video, I'm going to leave the welding to another time. 
For now that's all the work complete on the swing arm. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any questions or comments down below and hit the notification bell. See you next time.